now that you're here, we can start sleep. Sure. So, okay. All right. I'm calling the meeting to order, the annual meeting of People to People Delaware. And I would like to welcome you to our first Zoom annual meeting. Uh, my name is Jean Raleigh, and I'm your co-president, and I'd like to call on Dr. Salim Khan to say hello as well. Hello, everybody. It's Hi. nice to have, it's nice to be sitting at home and having a meeting and be able to see everyone. There are a lot of things, a lot of reports to review, so let's not delay any more and uh, keep going. Our target is to definitely finish by 8.30. Oh, yes. Much before that, I hope. Before that. 8 o'clock. Okay. Even before that. Okay. <laughs> this, year, this year has been particularly unusual and challenging for our nation and our world. We are optimistic about what we can achieve in the future of people to people Delaware. You, as board members, advisors, and members, uh, are making people to people Delaware activities possible, and we are grateful for your support. Uh, Jean, let me welcome Annette is on uh, there too. She may me. not be with us uh, all the time, uh, but she's there right now. Yes, I saw her pop up. Hi. Yes. Hi, Annette. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Thank you. The purpose of People to People International is to enhance international understanding and friendship through educational, uh, cultural, and humanitarian activities involving the exchange of life directly among people of different countries and diverse cultures. PTPI and the Delaware chapter seek cooperation with any, organi any organization around the world that believes in peace through understanding. To achieve the goal of international understanding, People to People International and the Delaware chapter promotes contacts among people of every nation through many channels of communication. We invite people of all ages, cultures, religions, races, nationalities to participate in our programs. If you have friends who would be interested in our programming, please invite them to join. Our membership is growing. Once a year, People to People Delaware has an annual meeting where a slate of officers and board members are nominated and voted upon by the membership. All nominees, officers, and committee chair people must be members of good standing in PTPDE. Each member has one vote. The majority of those present and who have sent in their ballot, uh, their votes, determines if the slate is accepted. This is the first year that People to People Delaware has had an online vote. The slate that was approved by the board has been sent to all members, and our secretary, Navid, will tell us how many votes came in via the online method. Could you hear that, Naveed? He put it on the screen. OK, thank you very much for the opportunity. I'm sorry it took me a moment to unmute myself. Um, but uh, here are the results. Uh, we have a total of 16 votes, all yeses. Um, and so, so this is the result. So. Um, you know, we have some nice graphics, but no need to go into that detail. Uh, bottom line, 16 votes, all yeses. Thank you. So we also need to take the vote of anybody at the Zoom meeting who has not had a chance to vote. Are there any people at this Zoom meeting who have not voted? 
uh, you may need to unmute yourself if uh, you are wanting to speak. So I'm assuming that everyone that's attending the Zoom meeting has already voted. Um, I haven't voted, but I was not renewing my um, myself as a board member. So I figured that wouldn't, I mean, that's kind of pointless to vote if I'm not going to be. Oh, no, you may vote as a board member. <clears throat> you may vote. Hey, hey Jane. Yes. Yeah, so Andres here. So I, I actually, I'll be honest, I was under the impression that only board members were to vote, so I haven't voted. So uh, no, all members get a vote. All, I'm in the same. All members. All members get one vote. Okay, so what we'll do now is those of you that have not voted, you may have a chance to vote right now. So if you are in favor, say yes, and Naveed will take a count. Yes, please give me your name and say yes or no. Okay, so Andres Rodriguez, yes. <laughs> Kim Lopez, yes. Annette Fletcher, yes. Is there anyone else? Is there anyone who wishes to vote no? So now our count is 19. That's what I have, Salim. Okay. Do you agree with that, Naveed? Yes. Bar Barbara Thies, are you still on the line? Can you hear us? I guess, I guess she's not, okay. Okay, so the majority of those present according to our bylaws and if sent in their votes just determines that the slate has been accepted. Yes. Great, so for the year 2020, 2021, Dr. Salim Khan and I will be serving as your co-presidents. The co-president shall submit to the Delaware chapter, the Delaware chapter's annual report to People to People International World Headquarters. And we will report the slate of officers and the board members that pass by a vote at this meeting. At this time, we need a first vice president. The first vice president is in training to become the president. Please let us know if any of you are interested in taking on that responsibility. We would love to have you. Upon completion of the fiscal year, a financial statement and the PTPDE annual report shall be made available to the membership on our website. So, as soon as this meeting is over and I have done the report, I will post, I will have Derek uh, post it on our website. And Naveed, it will need to go out to all the members as well. Okay? Yes. Great. The treasurer shall be responsible for membership dues, the payment of dues to world headquarters, shall collect, administer, and expend such funds as may be received from time to time. The treasurer shall make regular financial reports to the membership and to PTPI, World Headquarters, as requested. The treasurer shall act as overseer of the financial activities of all the committees established by this chapter. Possible committees of PTPDE include membership, travel, public relations, special projects, and whatever else we would like to add. The dues from members and contributions make this chapter work. So thank you, we, we really appreciate that. Ed Tucker is our treasurer and he will now give the financial report for 2019-2020 up to this date 
and he will introduce our wonderful new treasurer. Jane, Jean, thank you very much. I, I can't tell if you're going to put up a copy of the treasurer's report that I already had submitted to you. Are you? Uh, if I had that copy, I could have shared it. Uh, oh, that's okay. I, I just want to know. Um, if you haven't, I'll, I'll go ahead and give you the, uh, the substance of it. Uh, the total assets in our bank accounts amounted to approximately $6,100 towards the end of the fiscal year, which ends just in a couple of days. This reflected a drop of about $1,400 as compared to the total assets uh, at the end of the previous year. Uh, revenues this year primarily came from membership dues and donations. And by the way, I should add, and probably the membership uh, committee should, should add as well, uh, that we've had some very strong financial support from several uh, members well in excess of their, uh, their required uh, membership level. This is particularly helpful in the sense that this year, we did, as many of you know, we did not receive a grant mm -hmm. aid from the state of Delaware. And based on the news that we hear today, it is unclear if there will be any distribution from the state's grant and aid uh, fund uh, as the legislation uh, that is, uh, is hoped to pass has not yet passed through the Delaware uh, state legislature. In this period of physical separation, regular community programs were not held. So expenses and therefore income were not quite uh, the usual uh, uh, expectations that we had experienced in the, in the past. Our expenses primarily have been going for uh, administrative costs, such as the executive director, contract support for website and related IT needs, and for liability insurance for the chapter. A change in the treasurership was conducted early in this fiscal year, and as a consequence, changes were made in the method of accounting for our financial ins and outs. Uh, with the profound help of uh, Isla Stanley, uh, we decided to adopt a free cloud-based system called WAVE that allows us to keep track. And we're hoping and we're expecting that the tracking within this new accounting system will match the requirements uh, for the categories of the Delaware State Grant and Aid when we apply for uh, such a grant uh, later this year. An internal audit was conducted early in this year and established the accounts to be in order based on spot checks. I, uh, I really appreciate the help that uh, the board has given me and the freedom to select the, uh, the software. And I wish everybody very good luck as we pass the treasurership reigns to ISTA, who already has been a tremendous help in this particular function. Thanks a lot. I'll turn it back to you, Gene. Um, and can you please clarify, are we going to have an audit in during this year? That's up to the board to determine. Okay. I'd like ISTA to say hello and wave her hand so those of us that don't know her, you can say hello. Hello, Aiste. Welcome to your new position. Hello. Hello, everyone. Thank you very much for the welcome, <laughs> for the warm welcome. <laughs> so let's give her a round of applause for accepting. <laughs> it seems strange to do it online. Now, before Ed Tucker goes, I want to say that we, Ed and I have been working together, I can't imagine how many years. And he's always on top of his game. He is accurate. He's thorough. He tries his best to understand all aspects of whatever situation he's involved in. And we are going to miss him as treasurer. But 
We are delighted that he's going to stay focused on People to People Delaware, and let's give him a big thank you on Zoom. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Jean, thank you're, very, you Ed. you're very kind, thank you. Well, it it's, sounds different on Zoom than it does in <laughs> person, so let's amplify it as best we can. In 2020, People to People Delaware hired a new executive director named Ellen Hughes, who will be leading our chapter into the next year when the pandemic will be a factor in providing programs, activities, and of course, people to people interactions. We welcome Ellen Hughes to People to People Delaware. And I, uh, we can't see her tonight. We're hoping she gets herself straight with the having a picture uh -huh. sometime so that all of you can see what an attractive young lady she is. So Ellen, would you say something, please? Well, I like the young lady part. That's excellent. <laughs> <laughs> I was, um, I actually came on board March 1st, which is just about the time that the pandemic and sheltering at home began. So it has certainly been a challenge to be the new uh, executive director uh, in learning how things normally are presented and then how we are doing it with Zoom. Fortunately, we do have the technology of today that we are able to continue some programming through our Zoom contacts. Um, our mission, as Jean has stated, is to enhance uh, international understanding and friendships through uh, educational and humanitarian activities. And I'm looking forward to being able to work with all of you when we can go back to our usual way of presenting programs. But in the meantime, the Zoom uh, programs have been working fairly well. We've had our first one was uh, June 10th, and then our next one will be in August with Carla Stone and uh, women. So uh, we're looking forward to that as well. And I can't wait to meet all of you in person and work with you as we move forward into our next fiscal year as well as our next presentation of programs. So thank you for hiring me and we'll go forward from here. Thank you, Ellen. We appreciate that. We look forward to seeing your picture maybe next time. Well, my picture is on the website. <laughs> oh, good. Everybody go to the website and <laughs> email us on the website. That'll be great. Um, if you are not a member of a committee yet, may I encourage all the board members and even the advisors who wish to do so to join a committee? Some of you might not know that you can also join a committee if you are a member. You don't have to be a board member to be on one of our committees. So I hope you'll all consider to be active on at least one of our committees. Sharon Cooper has been doing a fabulous job as chair of our membership committee. We congratulate her and her active committee members for growing our membership. It's wonderful that we are growing even in this difficult year. She will now give her report. Thank you, Jean. Uh, the membership committee has met regularly over the past year and our primary focus has been growing our membership. Uh, currently, our membership stands at 50 uh, members, which includes 19 new members. And we have 18 pace setters who are members that have contributed more than their standard dues. And we, there are several people, as Ed said, have, have uh, contributed substantial amounts of money to us this year, greatly appreciated given our issues with um, the grant funding. Um, we've also made a special effort to recruit younger adults as our membership tends to lean towards seniors. Mary Sella has spearheaded uh, a connection with Leadership Delaware, and we have recruited three talented young members from Leadership Delaware 
One is Aiska, who you've met already, who's our new treasurer and is on the board. Um, the others are Kimberly Lopez and Andres Rodriguez, who are on our advisory board, on our public relations committee. They brought wonderful energy into uh, our board meetings and our programs, and they're, they're, they're great techies. So they have some tech skills that are greatly needed. Another new member, Navid Bakir, who is our secretary, but also leads the, 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 the tech issues that we deal with. We really thank him for stepping into membership, into an officer position, and making Zoom possible for people-to-people um, -people Delaware. Um, our membership committee sends letters to all renewing and new members to welcome them and thank them. We also send emails out to people attending our programs or people who come to our tables who aren't members. In August of this year, we did a major review of all uh, former members and former friends of People to People Delaware. Uh, letters and emails were sent out to all of these people in addition to uh, personal friends. Our executive director at that time, Kim Burdick, sent emails to 127 people, and this effort produced nine new members. And we believe strongly in the membership committee that it's the programs that drive membership to People to People Delaware. So in this spirit, the membership committee organized an event in October, Music by the River, which was held at the historic uh, Hale Burns House and included the, um, excuse me, Laura Rogers and the Serenata Strings who played classical music for us and historic American music. Mm -hmm. um, and this program was an effort to meet new members as well as connect with our, our uh, regular members and say thank you to them. It, it was attended by about 50 people and was quite a success. We had a beautiful day for that program. Uh, in the spring, our committee organized an effort to contact all of our members by phone. Uh, several board members participated in this effort. And um, our desire was to check in with membership because of the challenging shelter in place uh, orders in Delaware due to the coronavirus. And we also wanted to say thank you and invite them to share any concerns, ideas, as well as encourage more activity with the board or committees. Uh, several people we contacted expressed interest in becoming more active and um, several people, especially our seniors, were enthusiastic about the Zoom uh, format, which was nice to hear because they, some of them had limited mobility. Uh, we're in the, member, in, in the middle of a membership drive now. Letters uh, and emails were sent out to all members and friends of People to People Delaware in May, in, uh, reminding them of the new calendar year and again inviting them to be more engaged in our programs. Um, and uh, our early response, we have 34 people who are new or have renewed membership. So this, this effort is ongoing, our membership drive. Anyone listening now who is a member and haven't paid your dues for the new calendar year or is, um, or people who know people who might be interested in uh, joining People to People Delaware, we really encourage you getting the word out and sharing our programs when you get information about our programs. And lastly, a big thank you to my committee, Mary Sella, Michael Lynch, Anna White, Shirley Christensen, and uh, our past executive director, Kim Burdick, who's no longer on the committee, but was very active when she was executive director. Thank you. Thank you. Nice job on the membership committee. Uh, Sharon, what cl uh, clarification? The new dues, uh, do they start like this July 1? Yes, the new, the new membership calendar year is July 1, 2020 through June 30th, 2021. But anyone who has paid dues this year is grandfathered into that membership period. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sharon, and your committee. 
the program committee plans and executes special community programs and other events designed to promote the mission of People to People International and also PTPDE. At present, all programs will be via the Zoom uh, platform. Anna White is chair of the program committee and has been in that position for many years. She always needs help, though, in creating <laughs> new ideas for programs. So send your ideas to, directly to Anna or to info at PTPDE. That's a new address that Naveed has cleverly come up with. Info at PTPDE. At this moment, Mary Sella, a valued member of our board, will give the program committee report. Uh, good evening, everyone. I guess it's time for me to put my glasses on so that I can read this report that Anna White uh, prepared for us. Excellent report. Thank you, Anna. Um, Anna, as I look at your report, I feel very proud as a board member and all that we've uh, accomplished in the past year. So let me go over all the bullets that Anna has provided. In June of last year at the Ed Oliver Golf Club, about 75 people attended a dinner. In addition, we presented our People Helping People Award and it was presented to our own uh, Dr. Khan. congratulations. Also present that night was Merrill Eisenhower Atwater, who's our Chief Executive Office of People to People International. Uh, the ceremony was followed by Speaker Hadi, who spoke on peace through understanding. In July, we had the Sunday suppers. Um, it was held in uh, people to people members and friends homes and was arranged uh, through the U of D Global Studies. Participants included mid-career scholars from 18 countries around the globe. In July, people to people arranged a meet and greet dinner reception at Timothy's with the U.S. State Department and University of Delaware Global Studies for sushi students from Africa, as well as the mid-career uh, scholars that I previously uh, talked about uh, from around the world. In July, and this is Sharon's wonderful project, um, the Global Youth Mural Project. Uh, People to People provided a workshop uh, for middle school students from boys and girls clubs. And two murals were created and the theme was one people, one world. Um, for all of you new members, um, this youth mural project is part of an international project sponsored by People to People International. And these travels uh, tra uh, travel throughout the world with a message of peace and friendship. In September, the, our youth murals were unveiled at the Lafayette Gallery in Wilmington as part of the monthly art loop. The Delaware murals were displayed along with murals from Russia, Ukraine, and Romania. Many of the students who worked on their murals were in attendance and presented uh, their murals. I was present at it and I have to say I watched the faces of these young people just light up as they stood in front of their murals saying what they had created as everyone paid strict attention and took their pictures. Um, in September, we participated in Peace Week. Um, we partnered with Dr. Jay Macklin's Academy for Peace in Wilmington. And our global murals were also on display at, at the Academy. Um, in October, it was Music by the River. And Sharon has already spoken about that. In October, uh, the U.S. Global Leadership Coalition held an inspiring and thought-provoking conference, and there was about 400 people in attendance. And People to People had a tabletop display. Um, part of the luncheon panel included um, Senator Coons, Congressman Royce, Michael Kramer, who's a Nobel Prize winner, and also CNN uh, political correspondent Dana Bash. In November, um, we had a panel discussion, and this was moderated by a Dr. Khan, and it was conflict in Southeast Asia, 
and Pakistan, India, and Kashmir. And I also was co-sponsored by the Islamic Society of Delaware and the Islamic School. And Navi was also one of our guest speakers that night. So thank you, Salim and Navi for that. And most recently in June, uh, People to People presented its first Zoom conference. It was called The Cultural Dividend and it was about the importance of global cultural influence in our lives. And the speaker was Jack Keogh, and he is an internationally known coach, business consultant, and author. Respectfully submitted, Anna White. Thank you all. Thank you very much, Mary. It was an impressive year, and I hope that uh, we can follow up on some of these programs and see what uh, the University of Delaware might be doing or nothing. It's going to be a difficult year to repeat some of these programs with the State Department and so forth. So we'll see what happens. Um, Sharon, do you want to do any more on the Youth Mural Project? Sharon, you're on mute. Sharon, you're on mute. We did Sorry hear about that. <laughs> um, we will be doing the program again this year in Zoom format with the Boys and Girls Club of Delaware. A bit of a challenge, but we're we're going to give it a shot. Um, and we, our artist in residence, is um, Eunice Lafayette, who is a member of People to People Delaware. She has a gallery in Wilmington, a very accomplished artist and also a teacher. So she's wonderful in working with the kids and helping them translate their feelings and ideas into visual form. Um, and uh, it's a program we all enjoy. Good luck. I hope it goes really well. Thank you. The hosting committee used to be very active, but right now, uh, of course, uh, the virus makes a big difference. The hosting committee is responsible for organizing activities and finding host families for international visitors and or people to people international groups sent to our chapter. The chairperson of this committee shall be the home state coordinator and work quote, closely with PTPI, the University of Delaware, sister cities, and others. At this time, there is no hosting because of the virus, but we do need a chair for this committee. So if hosting appeals to you, and I think we have some new members that this might appeal to, we do need a new chair for the committee. Special projects, uh, books for you. Uh, we, we in People to People continue to collect non-political, non-religious, and non-fiction books. So if you have books that you are trying to give away, uh, we could still use those books. Uh, so you can contact me at gene.raleigh at ptpde.org. I'd be happy to talk to you about the books. Uh, for those of you that are new to People to People, Delaware, uh, we have sent actually hundreds, if not thousands of books around the world uh, to different chapters and different schools. And so uh, we are not doing that as much anymore, but who knows how things will evolve over time. Public Relations Committee or the Communication Committee, as some of you call, but in our bylaws, it's called Public Relations Committee. It's responsible for such publicity necessary to promote the activities of the chapter, to inform the community of People to People Delaware, to seek relationships with other like-minded organizations, and to provide information to the local media, Facebook, Twitter, et cetera. Also, the committee should send news and pictures of the chapter's activities to the world headquarters for inclusion in their publications. And I'm not really sure right now what the world headquarters, what kind of publications they have. Uh, 
they're sort of regrouping themselves because they've lost all of their trips. And that was a major source of revenue. Ellen Hughes is now the chairman, the chair of the Public Relations Committee, and she will give her report. Um, thank you. Uh, the, the major meeting, and then we're going forward with some others. But the first meeting was held um, on June 17th, and the purpose of this committee is actually twofold. Primarily logistics, which are right now involved in the Zoom presentations to make things go very smoothly when we do have a Zoom presentation. And then, as Jean had mentioned, we are marketing upcoming programs. Uh, as you also have heard, the first Zoom presentation featured Jack Keo, uh, the cultural dividend, which was on June 10th. And that seemed to go well, uh, and we had a very positive response to that. For future presentations, uh, Navid Bakir uh, created a simple tracking form so that we can feature the name and information, email information, which will be forwarded to Sharon Cooper in a membership committee for follow-up. Uh, it's really very simple. It's just the name and email, and then Sharon will get it for further follow-up. We did have a discussion that took place regarding the need for a database. And we are doing research in that. We have apparently have had several distribution lists out there. Everybody has had their own. And it would be so much better if we had a general database to provide consistency uh, to all. And we are working on that now. Another component being um, researched is MailChimp for that same purpose. And as a smile is a personal commitment. If you participate, you Committed to name a, a charity, one charity, and a small donation of 0.5% would be given to that charity. And as we've already mentioned too, the next Zoom presentation will be August 5th at 7 p.m. with Carla Stone from the World Trade Center in Wilmington. She will be the presenter. The program is Change the World, Courageous Women in Inter the World Past and Present. Present. Uh, we put information to Andre and Basta for the creation of a new flyer, and we will be working very closely with Derek George, our webmaster, for posting on the website as well as on Facebook. And I thank everybody who's involved in this as we are moving forward with our commitment. The Public Relations Committee is basically Navid. Asa Stanley and John Kelly. So we are moving forward with lots of new ideas for programming and we'll work with the program committee. Thank you, Ellen. That's an important aspect of getting the word out on our programs and building our membership. Through the hey, Alan, again, what is the latest title for uh, Carla Stone's presentation? Uh, Alan, can Change you hear me? Pardon? Uh, I, I know Carla had changed her title. What is the latest title? I didn't know she changed her title. What she gave me, mm -hmm. she changed the world. Courageous women in international aid from around the world, past and present. Okay. I will double check with her. I hadn't realized she changed the title. No, she's changing much more, changing the word. I'm just kidding. Changing the what? Word. The whole word. She's changing the whole word. Isn't oh. that the title? Um, when I send the report in, I will use what Ellen has as the latest. Sure. Thank you. Okay. okay. <clears throat> And if she changes it again, she's the speaker. So until the flyer goes out, she may change it again. Right. Uh, the title was she, or she gave, changed the world. Right. Women. So I, I don't know if she changed it, but I will double check. And, and she's going to have the final approval of the flyer anyway. Exactly. Right. Thank you. Thank you, Alan. You're welcome. 
Uh, well, Mary Sallow has been very busy recruiting <laughs> our volunteers, and we're very grateful for her knowledge of how to do this. And do you want to give us an update on what you might do in the future since you've done such a good job in the past? Okay. Thanks, Jean. Uh, one of the things we've done this year, and we signed the contract in February with uh, Volunteer Delaware. Now, this is a state organization, and its members, its volunteers, are over uh, 50 years old, and the state rallies them together to volunteer out throughout the state of Delaware. By people to people becoming a member, that allows us to uh, solicit and recruit volunteers. They have a monthly newsletter and Ellen uh, put it in this month's newsletter. And we hope that it will attract some volunteers. Um, and even though we're not having live events, you know, we might need them to do some stuffing or they might be helpful uh, on any type of committee like the tech committee, uh, et cetera. And we hope also these volunteers uh, may also become members They may also become board members. So this is a great way to, to, to recruit in the Delaware community. Again, it's called Volunteer Delaware. Uh, the other thing, and we've talked at great lengths about this, is uh, we had partnered with Leadership Delaware, and that is an excellent nonprofit organization here in Delaware. They recruit mm -hmm. young people, most of them in, in the age range are around 30, and it's a year-long program, and it involves over 100 speakers, and they have a lot of projects. And from our partnership with them, uh, this is how we were able to um, um, recruit Aista Stanley, uh, Kim Lopez, and Andres Rodriguez. And Gina's welcomed them, but let me welcome them once again. You've been a welcome addition um, to our board and to our advisory committee. Um, one of the things we are gonna be doing in the future is hopefully working more with Dana. And we are a member of Dana. Um, right now, they're, 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 they're Kind of obviously busy with the virus and advocacy for grant and aid, but uh, once that kind of settles down, they're going to be setting up a new uh, recruitment program that we can use the Dana website to recruit volunteers. So once that's up and running, I'll put a proposal to the board, and if the board uh, approves it, I will um, put advertisements or ads on Dana's website. Um, obviously, we can recruit volunteers, all of us can as board members and advisors as members, you know, family, friends, uh, different colleagues, etc. Um, and when we're at uh, different table events, we should always have some sort of volunteer form where people can sign up. And then I know most recently, and Jean and Sharon have already talked about this, when we do these Zoom presentations, like the one we did with Jack and when we're having with Carla, um, Naviv has developed a form so we can capture uh, their name and their email and then Sharon's going to reach out to them to see if they'd like to be a member or they could be a volunteer, etc. So that's my report. Thank you, Jean. Thank you, Mary. That's exciting that uh, we have these possibilities. So the future of people to people Delaware. It has been a challenging year. We've had to really regroup uh, with the virus to find out how we could uh, better uh, get our word out of what People to People Delaware is all about. And I think when you look back on our year, it has been a very exciting year. We've brought in a lot of new people and uh, we've done a variety of programs and we hope that all of you will be very active next year. I know Salim and I, hope that people come forth to want to take up leadership positions. We hope that you will bring in new members from friends. And uh, we really need to grow as an organization to be more important in the Delaware scene. So I hope all of you will take it upon yourself to do your best for this coming year. Is there anyone else who has any business or comments about the year 2019-2020. Do we have a motion to adjourn the meeting? So move. Second. Naveed, were you able to get that? 
Yes, I did. Great. I want to say before we go that without Naveed and his expertise, <laughs> we would not have these Zoom meetings. Uh, and we really, Agreed. we are really appreciative of everything Naveed has done. Every time people ask him to do something, he has stepped up and done it willingly. And let's give him a round of applause oh. for all that he's done. You're very kind. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. So I and hope Jean, Jean, yeah. mm -hmm. this is Sharon. Can I make a comment? Sure. Yeah, it's been a challenging year on many levels for our organization. But I think, as you said, we've had a, a wonderful year. And I want to give a, a, a deep thank you to both you and Salim, who stepped in to be co-presidents of the organization in August and have done really a wonderful job in getting us organized and helping us grow and um, paving the way for the programming. So thank you both very much. Very welcome. You're welcome, yes. And thank, uh, thank you, you know, personally, I would like to thank Dr. Salim Khan. Dr. Salim Khan, he brought me in, uh, you know, to, uh, to, to people to people. So I appreciate his, uh, um, his trust in me very much. Thank you. You're very welcome. <clears throat> Great. Any other comments? If not, we'll have our next annual meeting next year. But the next meeting that we have for the board and the advisors and any member that wants to come uh, will be with Salim in July. So thank you, Salim, for running yeah, that. Well, uh, have you picked up the date uh, or can we look at the calendar right now quickly? It will be the fourth Wednesday, whatever that is. Yes. Do you have? Okay. Wednesday, fourth Wednesday of what? July. 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 Oh, yeah, fourth. Fourth Wednesday of July is going to be 22nd. And that's okay. at six o'clock, correct? Uh, there was some sentiment about it. Uh, so I am fine either way. <clears throat> uh, I think that uh, we might want to send out a, a notice to see if that still is okay, the six o'clock time period. And also, I know that some of our board members are having difficulty with Zoom. Uh, Carl Hutter and I have been talking. He doesn't know how to do it. And so if you know of some other person that doesn't, maybe we can find somebody to help people understand how Zoom works. There won't be anyone better than Navid to do that. <laughs> Also, okay. others on his committee, the, the public relations committee, other people would be good at it too. So if we, if we sent out a notice um, asking who needs help and the time, I think that would be good for you to do, Celine. Okay, so for right now, we are settling for 6 p.m. July 22nd. That, that's good with me. I mean, we're all on the phone right now. Is that is that good? Is is that not good for anybody? July twenty second at six o'clock. I've already commented that I would prefer later uh, after, after dinner. You know, we all eat dinner at different times, of course. But it is summer. There's a lot of daylight hour. Uh, things are going on, despite the fact we have social and physical distancing. So, but I, I, I'll, I'll I'll go with the flow. Um, I mean, seven is equally good, and if it works for some people, we might. Uh, I think six o'clock, Ed, was because at last meeting, because Jack uh, wanted that time. So let's uh, you know, You're right. be consistent and stay with 7 p.m. Well, no, we, we don't normally have our board meetings that late, do we? No, usually okay, they're six or 6.30. Yeah, yeah. So, Jean, the one uh, we had, the two we had at your house. What time were they? I think we've been having them at six, but I'm I'm flexible. I'm not going anywhere right now, so I'm here. <laughs> we can compromise on six. Yeah, yeah, six thirty. Uh, that's what I was just gonna suggest. 
Yeah, I mean, I prefer six, but 30. let's go at 6.30. Okay, go for 6.30. Okay. There we go. Okay. July 22nd, 6.30. Wednesday, July 3rd, 22nd, 6.30. 6.30, great. Incidentally, great. incidentally, you know, you, Dr. Khan, you asked me to open up the calendar. Mm -hmm. I would have been in Paris in five minutes had it not been for the COVID. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness, wow. You can still be like the way you are here. Yeah, <laughs> not the same, but. <laughs> yes, right. we're in North Carolina, so you can be anywhere in the world these days. <laughs> as long as you have a good internet connection. And I want to tell you all that Ed Raleigh has hold, held this computer the entire program. <laughs> <laughs> I can read on my program what was happening. So it's high tech, right, Ed? Oh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Gene, you want us to clap, clap for Ed? There we go. Yeah, yeah. clap for Ed. Take care for Ed. <laughs> Here, here's a picture of Ed. There, he won't let him be seen. Okay, any other comments before we say good night to everybody? Okay, thank good you. Good night. So much. All right. Good night. Good night. Bye. Thank you, everybody. Good night. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.